Hi, I'm Mark Bridges, costume designer, and I am thrilled to be here today in your closet. I feel like I've died and gone to heaven, okay, because uh, it's unbelievable to be surrounded by all this work that's so inspiring to me. Heaven's Gate, uh, I'm fascinated by it. You know, it has a lot of it has a lot of baggage with it, but I've never really sat down and seen it. The parts that I have seen though, are a lot of texture of clothing. It looks so period. I think uh, Isabelle Hubert is in it, yeah. And uh, I'm dying to see it. I'm really dying to sit down, get the popcorn and watch the whole thing. I can't wait. Okay. The Damned. The costumes are by Piero Tosi. Unbelievable designer. I try, try to emulate him, but I will never reach the level of Piero Tosi if, if I live to be 100. So one can try. Here's another one, Barry Lyndon, that uh, Milena Cannonero, another genius designed and I use it often for inspiration. Aha, An the leopard from my buddy Piero Tozzi. And I've seen some of these clothes up close. The shapes, the fabric, the details. Uh, there's a, a thing with some of these films too that you get a sense of when the film was made but you also are, are just in love with the, how period it all looks and how exquisite it all looks. And so that's the kind of thing that whets my appetite to watch and, and to enjoy and to just luxuriate in the, the beautiful artistry of a designer. Oh yeah, okay. Jules Dessin, Naked City. I use it for research because Bill Daniels drove around New York and photographed real life people from like a window in a bread truck. And so you really get a sense of the day to day with the citizens of New York. It's interesting. I think I used it to research a film I designed called The Master because of what real people would be like in 1948. And you see that not everybody wears hats. It's only the older ladies. Like there's a lot of bareheaded men and a lot of bareheaded women. And I think it's gonna lend reality to my work if I see what it was really, really like day to day in New York City. So, love it. Let's see, what's this? Ah, oh, La Belle Bette. Just beautiful, surreal, shot bright at the end of World War II in France. Everybody was cold, everybody was hungry. <laughs> Cocteau came down with La Grip. Um, during the filming of it, but managed to to have the most amazing, beautiful fantasy film. And uh, it's beautiful to this day. I love to watch it. Let's see, oh, someone, Sunday Bloody Sunday. Someone mentioned this to me last night. I currently have a film out, The Maestro. And uh, it's there's part of it in 1971. And someone asked me, oh, were you influenced by Sunday Bloody Sunday. I said, no, uh, but I, I'd love to look at the movie. And here we are today getting a copy. I can't wait to look at it. Excuse my back again, but oh, wait a minute. My beautiful Andorette. Um, one of the first films I worked on in Hollywood, I was assistant costume designer to Richard Hornung on The Grifters, and it was directed by Stephen Frears, who directed this film. Also, I've done a couple of films, uh, Phantom Thread and uh, There Will Be Blood with Daniel J. Lewis. And I have to say, the whole time I was working with Daniel on There Will Be Blood, I never once related that was the same actor that played this part. He's so perfectly in his roles that you'd never think, oh, that's the same guy. And I love this movie when it came out. It, it affected me a lot. And then I ended up working with Steven and then I ended up working with Daniel. So down memory lane we go. Marriage Story, beautiful, beautiful movie. Oh, oh. Who did the costumes? Oh, I did. Um, but it's a beautiful movie and uh, directed by my friend Noah Baumbach, who is, I've done another film for him too, and it's always a joy. It's always a joy. He, he lets you do what you do and supports you all the way. 
Oh, you have another one of my movies. Wow. Punch Drunk Love. It was, it was our beautiful musical, not musical, beautiful love story. And uh, we, we were kind of influenced a little tiny bit by uh, Godard films in making this. And it's just sweet. And I, I highly recommend you see this if you get a chance. Well, thank you, Criterion Collection, for today. Um, I love movies and I love you too. Thank you so much.